officially open the July 23rd board meeting agenda, I mean, a workshop. Uh, let it be noted that everyone is present and I will welcome everybody. I don't think, is there anyone who is not an employee here? Okay. So y'all are welcome to. Uh, I'll turn it over now to Mr. Davis. Yes, ma'am. So good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. I haven't seen everyone in a while. Uh, first and foremost, we start congratulations on being the A school district. Awesome opportunity. Uh, yeah. Thank you for your support and thanks for everyone in this room for for supporting teachers and supporting kids and families. So we'll move forward today. So C1 is um, our minutes from our workshop, our board <coughs> workshop on June 18th, along with school board workshop on the 20 uh, June 26th and the regular workshop on June 28th as well. C2 is our expansion of our Dell Purchase Agreement. Uh, this is the, and then last year we brought an initiative to, to bring on 6,200 Chromebooks to our classrooms in order to move forward uh, closer to the one-to-one -one uh, opportunity for our kids. This is adding an additional 6,000 uh, Chromebooks within our school district and as we continue to close the gap. We put in, uh, right now we currently have around 22,000 in our school district and this will bring us closer to the one-to-one -one, uh, opportunity. <coughs> everything we do is gonna be one-to-one, -one, but we want every child in our, in our classrooms to ha and teacher to have that option if needed. C3, <coughs> I have not opened this if you would like to have this. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. C3 is the personnel consent agenda. On this consent agenda, it's usually large at this time of the year because you'll see annual renewals, you'll see conclude employments, transfers, uh, resignations as well. Um, I will bring the attention of some uh, job descriptions that are, are being changed in the in, in this uh, month's uh, push forward with uh, under the operations department with Dr. Kemp. This is through the business the business automotive system coordinator position. We are we are want to move the coordinator position from a four to a two. Uh, we built this uh, entire BAS suite, I would call it, in order to have better controls internally for HVAC, for fire alarms, for locks, those types of things in our school district. And we just changed some uh, some of the names of the job of older job descriptions so that they can have better equipped to what the actual employee does within the school district. So in this case, we have an individual that um, really has increased the number of electronic controls that they are governed within the school district. They, uh, when I said they do HVAC, fire alarms, locks, controls, and they are really looking at program, uh, building programmatic approaches to controls and networks within our school district. So this is a really missing a critical position. Um, this position really historically, uh, this individual has been recruited to get paid a lot of money outside of our school district. Uh, if we lose this one individual, I, I'm just telling you, it would be mm -hmm. it, it, it would be hard on us. Uh, Doctor Kevin, anything you want to talk to this? It's just a mission critical position, and, and it's part of our uh, maintenance operations, reallocating, repurposing positions to work smarter with the existing allocations. And in, in all from a funding standpoint, this money will be it will, be, it will not be an additional ask to the to the board. It will be all within concentration under uh, Doctor Kemp's budget. That's correct. Additionally, you'll see. You will see uh, another uh, change from electronics position to a BAS technical support. This is just really doing greater align for digital controls along with HVAC as well, just making sure everything aligns up with that technician supports. And the last one you'll see would be the warehouse position uh, moving transition to a B BAS uh, specialist, which really is looking at control position to create building automations uh, within our school district. So these two new job descriptions, what are they replacing? Um, one is the warehouse position that we have currently, and the other one is held, I believe it's electronics. Correct. So they're all existing positions. I can send that to the board so you'll have it. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. We're just changing things. I'm just questioning nope. because normally when we make changes to an existing job description, yes, we strike and it. add, and this looks like a brand new yes, um, job description that we're going to have on the books. Yes, ma'am. Is your plan to strike the, the other ones? Yes, ma'am. The plan is to strike them. Okay. <clears throat> but I'll send that in a follow-up. So will the strikes be an allocation in this agenda? It really will. It may be a position that kind of goes dormant, and this position will roll to a new one. So the position will still be there, just be dormant. 
Yes, well, ma'am. We should probably so delete the allocation of the positions that you're not using. That's correct. So that there's not open allocations mm -hmm. to then be filled. Absolutely. We don't have to sit. So we're not deleting the job description. We're going to delete the allocation. Is that what I'm It'll be a transition in allocations. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Mr. Superintendent, I did want to point out that we, even though we have allocations, it's very difficult to find individuals to fill those allocations. So, you know, I would be concerned about just immediately deleting allocations if we're actively trying to pursue to find someone to fill, especially the HVAC roles. But it sounds yeah. like these two are, are just transferring to a different Correct. job. So Correct. That's reality. The existing allocation for money transfer. She's just saying the name needs to change. Correct. Right. So we're not creating well, new ones. Yes, right. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Now, when will that be on the board to, to leak? So, so it doesn't look like we're adding to the Right. So, if, this, the if these are, if once done? once these are approved, it then transition to the next month mm -hmm. from the deletion. You'll see a transition of, of off on. Right. So it'll be cost neutral indirectly or directly. All right. C four is ratification of the CCEA contract. Mm -hmm. Yay. C5 is ratification of the SESPA contract. I'm curious, how did y'all get the, let me ask, how did y'all get the word out, how did you do the vote? Well, the vote's going to occur on the 8th for CCA. Yeah, and we posted, Mr. Broski has posted right on your website, we posted it on our website. Um, it will also go out, out to the schools and be posted, and we will ratify on the 8th of August when they're in planning, pre-planning, it's a good time to do it. And I'll get the packets out on the Monday because that's when the principals and the um, reps get together for their meeting Monday morning, the 6th of August. So I'll be able to hand the packets out at that time and they'll be good to go. We've done the ballots. I've done all the package, the ballots and everything for them to So the board's to ratify. The board will ratify first so we don't hold up the paychecks. Okay. I'm pretty sure that will wrap up. But they don't. <laughs> they don't have a sign. It's really nice that we, we have to get that right this year. Yeah. I think it's a good work. It's nice to board. start with a contract. Right. With the right. Contract. It's, it's certainly going to help morale for everyone. Agreed. Focus on the work. All right, C6. This is a uh, this is a, an agreement extension of the agreement for Kelly Services. Um, you know, this is a five-year agreement with a 30-day uh, exit clause uh, internally. This, uh, for right now, we have uh, through the negotiations, we have the lowest cost in the uh, markup in the state of Florida. We were at a 1.33% increase based on the hourly rate, and we talked them down to a 1.295 increase. Um, we also did an analysis of where it would cost us to do it internally, which would be around 4.3, 4.4 4 million dollars. And then we transition to Kelly, which is uh, around $3.9 million. So we save $400,000 for transition to Kelly. Kelly has a fill rate of the, of the last year of 97%, a little bit over, over 97%. And um, uh, they, they've done good work for us. And, this is the, and we put some analysis in here to show you, you know, every lead that has been taken and the fill rate that they, that they have as an organization. Mr. Bronski, do you want to speak to the process? We knew uh, basically we went out and we negotiated for a lower rate. We looked at all the other, what all the other districts are paying. This is the lowest rate in the state of Florida for markup. I, I thank Business Affairs, Nancy Racine also uh, did a great job of talking to other companies. The reality is that the contract ends in October. Even if you were considering changing companies, trying to change it in October is not a good idea. Mm -hmm. Let me uh, ask you something. How long was the prior contract? Five, five um, years. It was five years. Yes, sir. And and did I understand you to say that uh, due to some complaints that we have all gotten about mm -hmm. Kelly, that someone, Broski or you, um, had a conversation with them about their services? Yes, ma'am. And. Uh, not only that, but Miss Piva. Miss I think all three I of have us actually are, meet, met with them. Um, three <coughs> times, um, last time um, right before I went away. Um, and the problem seems to be uh, when we take teachers out of schools for train, uh, out of the classroom for training. So they might take five, like um, Thunderbolt might take five teachers out, and the principals mm -hmm. are supposed to put in for the subs, and that's not been happening. So that's, the, that's been an issue. 
But when a teacher puts in for the subs, the teachers don't like to let it go. They want a certain sub and all this. So lots right. of our fill rate is a teacher's, uh, teacher's problem because they're sitting there going, oh, I can't get my favorite sub. I'll just go in sick. And then they're really sick. And then the, you know, and then it just snowballs into this this thing of, of a complaint. But really the complaint was, put it in, leave it alone. Okay, because we have a system to cover the class if your sub doesn't show up. There is a system. Kelly has Kelly is really good at following up, and, but you know, I had a teacher in Orlando say my the night before our sub didn't, but that sort of stuff isn't Kelly's fault. It really isn't. And there's been there's a disconnect when schools are pulling kid teachers out for PD, and we're gonna talk about that. And I think Ms. Pye would agree they <coughs> provide excellent customer service when there's a problem. Yeah. They step forward. And, and well my only, it. my only mm -hmm. comments were to make sure that there's been communication and it's cleaned up. And Keystone was a huge Whether problem. It's, if it's the principal yes, or the teacher in the class that's right. causing some right. problem, I mean, we can, Mr. Davis and Mr. Broski can fix it from this right. end, and, and you've talked to them as Well, Keystone teacher. was a huge problem, and they went and opened up an office in Keystone right. just to recruit people okay. in the Keystone area to be subs out in the Keystone. Right. Uh, 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 Florida Youth Challenge was a problem because they thought they couldn't use Kelly. They, they you know, right. so yeah. they were told that somebody told them out there that no, you can't have a sub. So they were canceling classes right. all the time. So I just found yeah. that out and yeah. called Mr. Wow. Roski and said, "What's going on here?" And he told Mr. Mr. Wingate to go out there and tell him, "No, you just have yeah. you have so, the same right to the same contract." That's right. So we did a lot of work through. Myself yeah. through Dr. Mr. Broski and, and Ms. Piva and, and to work with Kelly to make sure they're on the same services, same um, recruitment plan, and being in a field position. So last year I will openly say we did a lot of training. We had a lot of new initiatives that we needed to train yeah. and get people out. And this year it shouldn't be so heavy. Uh, but I agree with Ms. Piva when when Addison mm -hmm. Davis is a teacher, they want to have Mrs. Dennis, and Ms. Dennis is not available. Then you know, it's, a, it's a whole pattern. So mm -hmm. we're just I agree, Ms. Piva. We're trying to coach them, let it happen. Let, you know, have your emergency plans ready to go, and we'll have someone fill positions. So this is another five-year contract. Five-year with right. thirty-day out clause. If and are we educating the teachers as well as to? <laughs> we are continually to educate. The we teachers. will as well. But we we'll also have, have you know you the, like the day before the Memorial Day holiday. 500, 535 yeah. people were out. Yes. What? So yeah. who fills 530? I mean, I'm amazed, and they yeah. fill to like 80 some percent, like 87 yeah. yeah. percent. And I was just yeah. amazed. Oh, yeah. If you look at the days, there are 35. I think it was 35,000 days they filled. 35,000 days. That's incredible. Well, and, and speaking from experience, you're absolutely right. If I couldn't get certain subs. It was like, I don't know if I really want to yeah. take this yeah, day, day off, off or go right. to this doctor or do whatever. Yeah. But, um, I mean, it's like Fridays and Mondays are hot days for us. Everybody's watching. And I need you there. Kelly has, <laughs> has the rule that you have to teach, you have to sub on a Friday and a Monday sometime during the month. Yeah. Yeah. And they so save time and a half for those heavy, like, right before a oh, long nice. vacation, and I don't know how you curb that. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't. We don't and they actually were paying them time and a half. Yeah. So Just Kelly went and paid them time and a half, and they, they ate that. Wow. Yeah. Um, and yeah. um, so They've done good. They so, have tried. Well, well, 97% fill rate is huge. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's in comparison. When we go to the FSBA conferences, we're constantly bombarded with right. salespeople yeah. in the sub area. and, and Truly, I was listening because of the complaints sure. that we had heard, but um, that 97% fill rate wasn't topped by right. any of those. Mm -hmm. And that's, they, they were talking in the 90 percentile, yes, but it wasn't, right. you know. Yeah. Well, would you ask Kelly Services to please take the signs on Orange Park <coughs> School's campus down that say, Clay County Public Schools? That's okay. not our name. Okay. We brought it up a year ago and nothing was done with them. I know they're advertising, sure. which is great. And they have these banners up I'll that say, All right. Tell me so we're right. paying them three million dollars. I think they can afford to have some. Yeah. 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 And what? Uh, Keystone High School too. We're not Clay County Public Schools. Oh, it's it's on the track. I can't remember. It's on yeah. the. It's on that road. This, okay. Please it's please on Orchid right. Avenue. What do you want? Yeah, yeah they rent out a room. I want our real name. Yeah. Yeah. It's easy one. At the city hall. Okay, All right, C7 is a site license for T3000 for Discovery Oaks Elementary. 
Um, uh, we try to really fight the fact that our kids are transitioning from Poe and going to Discovery Oaks and we wouldn't have to pay anything else. However, they have a site license for every school, so it's $13,000 site license that we have to pay for our kids to have access. It's unfortunate we tried everything we could. Uh, C8 is out of out of state travel, out of state and overnight travel for FFA chapter president conference. This is for student leadership conferences. Though it's for August the 24th and 25th, students will go and learn about leadership and how to play an active role within uh, within their organization. That's for every high school. C9 is out of county travel for K12 academics. As you see, we have dance teams, chorus, and National Honor Society going to uh, to the Biltmore House, to Disney um, for Disney Springs art, and uh, going to DC. So we're going everywhere, all in advance. C10 is our monthly financial report for April. Do you want to add? Yes, um, I would. Um like to add, if I could, um, the monthly financials for the month of May. Um, it, at the time when we did this, it was not ready, so now it is. So I'd like to add your, ask your permission to add it onto the agenda, please. Okay. Thank for, you for me. <laughs> we have April, so now we're in May. So okay. And typically, my June will come in September. Add away. Okay. Thank you. <coughs> Are we normally that many months behind? I think we we're we actually caught up now. We, we were, like the last several months, we were behind, remember, because of the conversion. But once you're fully can the conversion once I is have done, May, we in, all in caught up. September we'll be seeing August, we're just one, one behind. No, in, in September you'll see the final June, where we ended up in June, and that's typically, that's standard mm -hmm. operating. You'll see uh, June, and you will see the um, annual financial report, and mm -hmm. you will see the final budget. And then in, um, that's in September, not August. You won't see anything in August other okay. than this. Okay. Make sense? No. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So it doesn't. So because with, but I think yeah. years ago, it used to be, you know, we were like one month behind. Yeah, there's those but minutes were three weeks into the month. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. When they're one week into the month, it's, you it's haven't it's closed the yeah. yeah. prior yeah. month. Mm -hmm. It just seems odd that we're. But your year right. ends in June. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. The year so, so a different get, fiscal year. Yeah. yeah. I don't get it until October. Before we get into uh, operations and facilities, uh, I want Dr. Kemp to put on his uh, suit of armor. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just wait. Uh, we have I'm a couple sure. of uh, yeah. items on here yeah, 13 and 14. So C11 is a project priority, priority list to identify eligible products, um, projects for capital outlay and, and debt services expenditures. This is just to identify capital properties that are aligned with our FISH programming and our FISH um, our plans. So we want to make sure that we add in certain initiatives and projects within the school district so they can be eligible for expenditures. And this is through Keystone Junior Senior High School, Fleming Island Elementary School, Dr. Zinlet, and Middlebury Elementary School as well. So projects that may be. Dr. Zinlet desperately needs that cafeteria expanded. Yes. All right, C12, before we get to the good stuff, uh, <laughs> change order number one. This is for Orange Park Elementary kitchen renovation. This is for tax savings, around $3,200. Okay. All right, Doc. I'm not, I said I'm not speaking Whoa. to these anymore. This is actually, a, <laughs> just so you know, this, this particular change order number two for the testing facility is related to the infrastructure and the ground. It, it, and since the hole is open, uh, we have pipe repair, the storm drain repair that has to continue to work. So that's an additional 20000 225 not related. It's, it's part of the scope of the project for ACE, but it's not related as far as funding to ACE. So therefore, 20225 will be coming out of capital to repair the, the uh, storm drain issues in the ground. That's why the hole is open. I thought we did that last Yeah, month. and we and the further we go into these projects, like you'll find later on another agenda item, like Orange Park Elementary, mm -hmm. as soon as we start getting into something, we find things that are broken. It's best for us to fix them while we're there under that mm -hmm. scope. If we're allowed to do that, then to not fix it and then have to redo architectural services and all that kind of stuff. So mm -hmm. that's strictly nothing. It really has nothing to do with <coughs> Um, uh, we just piggyback it. But it's within the scope of the project because the infrastructure drainage required for that project, we are now, um, we're just going to fix it while the whole, while, mm -hmm. while it's open. It's the smartest thing to do. That's that one. The next one's good. 
All right, C14 is a uh, for the Fulton Island High School ACE testing facility. This is a, a tax savings of two hundred twelve thousand dollars. Eight hundred twenty-five wow. for direct purchases. We're yep. we're uh, reducing that amount. Two hundred twelve thousand mm -hmm. eight hundred twenty-five for tax savings. Yeah. Right. So those should be the only things oh, you're so. allowed to bring to us. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, this oh, is please, like, just, just like please. property brothers. We go one. in and they just take out the floor and they go, oh my, you know, <laughs> and they break to a floor. Well, it's just floor. won't go away. I just don't know. No, I just can't wait. Trust I wonder me. how many, how many pits? When I saw this, yeah. when I was reviewing it, I thought, I want to fall out too. We, they mm -hmm. promised that we wouldn't yeah. see any more of this. But this is, this is all. The well, they never the actually promised. Yeah. They said they, they hold it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I might just put it on a standing agenda item yeah, right. every month. Just, just, just let it be able to leave and see how it goes. Yeah. And then when it, once it's finished, we'll yeah, right. Yeah, right. Yeah, that's right. Uh, C15 <laughs> is just pre-qualification for contractors and vendors for a monthly process. Uh, C16 is just looking at allowing clay utilities to gain access to Discovery Oaks uh, for input of water, uh, waste uh, water lines, and also uh, fire mains, just to have accessibility to our property. <laughs> C-17 is a change order for Orange Park Elementary. Once again, once we get into things, we mm -hmm. see that we run into some expansion issues or some code and some safety issues. So this will be an increase of $26,000 to continue the renovation of the kitchen, uh, just to stay, make certain that we are aligned with code. Are tax <laughs> Cut some of it in half. Mm -hmm. Take some of it. All right, D-1 is uh, Special Action A. Is there special? I didn't Nope. There was nothing uh, there. Yeah. Okay. We just do a place house. Yes. Yeah. Just in case. D2 is uh, public hearing for the uh, student progression plan as required. And D3 is also the public hearing to approve the code of conduct for 1819 school year. And, and I have an issue with that. And I had spoken to Mr. McCauley about the two things, but the backup is still the old backup. Right. Um, um, so I, and I appreciate you bringing that up. I have my pages marked. Uh, for both our conversation and the one I have on this pilot to fix those. And to Mr. Daggett, I wasn't sure, uh, because this is public comment, I wasn't sure if we got more public comment, how do you how do you get that, how do you incorporate public comment in, if the board members had any other changes or concerns that they'd like to address. I just have those two things to uh, correct. <coughs> and so we can oh, you mean if we have to re-advertise? Well, so uh, I, I guess we should go ahead. We asked that because it was two months, two and a half right, months ago that this came. And why it, it should have been on last month. So we'll, we'll update it. We'll update those two items. Okay, the two items, so you're mm -hmm. all aware, yeah. are page 15, the attendance for seniors. I don't know why we have to have this new policy. I mean, I realize maybe not everybody is going to school their senior year, but 94% is like, if they miss 11 days of school, they're not allowed to walk. And it's, it's, this is just, um, I said this two months ago when we talked about it, it, it an excused absence is only a doctor's note on their letterhead, a court order for something, uh, email confirmation from a college that they were visiting. And I don't agree with that. I mean, my kids have been home with the flu and I've not taken them to the doctor, and that can account for five days. And then a second time throughout the year, they could be sick. So. I, I'm not in favor of this. I will not support this. I really, um, I don't think it's, you know what, if you feel that we need to have it, let's give the principal the discretion. Mm -hmm. You know, let's put it, I mean, you're taking away really parents' rights to, to have their child, I have never sent one of my kids right. to school sick. All the way up to when they were senior. If they were sick, they weren't spreading germs. They were home in bed, getting better. So, so the, I have an issue with that one. So the note that I made the first time you talked about it was to add language for discretion by principal. Thank you. Um, parent note excusing absences. Yeah, mm -hmm. that should be accepted. So that, that was going to be added. And, and we'll, look at, the, we'll look at the 94%. But that's not what's on the back of so I can't look at what's on the back of yeah, with that, nice. So we'll take care of it before it's right. published. To so the that 94. It should be on here now with the correction. Minutes. So we'll, I, I'll I'll take it. Like we'll I'll we'll make the corrections today. I also that that number from 94 will go to 90 as we discussed as well, which will be a total of 18. Days. And I understand so, y'all are trying to get out 18, 20 yeah. days right. without a doctor's note somewhere. But yeah. you know, 10.8 days, I, my kids wouldn't have walked, right. and they were you know sixth in their class and 10th and. 
So that just didn't well, seem right Well, I understand. I think the intent was to try to keep the seniors from having senioritis, mm -hmm. which we uh, You can't and, get a doctor's note for that. <laughs> 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 but you but know the people they love to have one. You can't get a parent note for that. You can't get a doctor's note. The same. But, <laughs> but 18 days one? sounds reasonable. Yeah, well, that's 18 much days better. sounds reasonable. Yes, and then the What's other the one was Ms. Pivot's issue. Right, right. Um, and we'll fix that. And that language that was not meant to be Which was that? That was Janet. That's on page 32. Page 32, 32. they had just crossed out. 32 to 33. <laughs> When uh, law enforcement has <coughs> been notified for an assault on a school board employee, they, um, Mr. McCauley's group crossed out that the staff presses charges and CCA and SESPA are supposed to be involved and notified. And the new version never happened. Just an error because I knew we talked about it. Yeah. So. Thank you. Yeah. We'll have so those are the only two things that I was yeah. updating for the I final version. Why was that omitted? Why was that crossed out? Ms. Stuttered, I'm going to claim that it was 11 p.m. after all day of making red line edits. So I'm going to claim <laughs> tired eyes. Okay. <clears throat> but you're going to. But go all those parts of that, all those parts of that paragraph are, yeah, we know. CCA and been crossed out. Are you going to send out the correct all well, sections? I have one, two. Thanks. That still doesn't answer the question, though, Mr. Tiger, do we have to re advertise? You know, I, I don't think that you'll have to because it, I'm not seeing these as being substantial. completely substantial. Mm -hmm. But let me look at it, um, and I, I'll, I'll let you know if otherwise. We should have to because it's not a substantial. Mm -hmm. What I would do if anything, it's in favor of the student. I mean, a more it's really liberal like versus. Yeah. I guess I have a question, Mr. Daggett. And normally, when we approve something for advertisement, it always comes back the very next month to approve, mm -hmm. and this month. It, it didn't. We approved it for advertising in what May. Yeah, it was so we're more. two to three months now. Do we need to? Beginning of June. Was it June? The it June. June. But he, had, but he June. addressed that that right. meeting when he said we had it hadn't passed the amount of time for the June twenty eighth right. meeting. That's right. But I guess the question is, is there a time period? Is like if it said twenty one days, was you it? You gotta have at least twenty one days. Right. Yeah. But but can you go ninety days? Six you know sure. six months a year. So. Well, I, I think that would be unreasonable, mm -hmm. you know, but, but I don't think it's an unreasonable amount of time here. You know, you don't want to go for, a, I would say, a rule of thumb 90. Right. You want to give people reasonable notice of such right. that they can the make things. Well, we get this done the reason I'm asking start. is yeah. because yeah. this is the first time that I can remember we've approved for advertising and not approved the very next month. So I'm just questioning, is it, does it need to be re-advertised? I don't believe that it does need to be re-advertised. You know, if we were putting it off longer than 90 days, or if it was a yeah, major change, we'll change it. do it the just, other just question eight, is, do we have any other public comment aside from this five on? Well, this isn't the hearing for public no. comment. This is an agenda review. So public comment will come at, right. and, and if we have public comment with big changes, and so then we have to redo We have to determine point. what's going right. to happen in the public comment. Um, right. If we, if we have to consider it. Right. Yes, yeah. yes. We don't have to adopt. Right, but, but right. if it's something that's brought to our attention that we're in agreement with. Mm -hmm. right. But if it's not substantial, then it we'd have to wait correct. and see. Yeah, okay. correct. And I can't imagine that there's really anything, I mean, I can not see anything else. Okay. I read it, you read it, you know. Okay. Um, Address code issues. <laughs> <laughs> Superintendent comments? Well, yes, ma'am. Um, so today on the 23rd, today at the 1 o'clock meeting, which is the TCC? Or yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, we, we want have, you to find it. Yes, ma'am. Um, I want to talk, I did talk to Mrs. Stuttered and I added two things and um, I want you to be aware of it. If you believe that you do not want to move in this direction today, you want me to take it to August and we will do so. But we just wanted to put it on with it, giving you the option, the voice of the board. Um, I did interviews for the Assistant Superintendent of Curriculum and Instruction position last week. Had great interviews. In that position, uh, I was wide open. I had uh, no one pinned for the position. However, I'm announcing today that my recommendation will be to place Terry Connor in that position of Assistant Superintendent of Curriculum Instruction. Um, I know he's in this room. He did a, a very beautiful job in the interview process, which means that his position will become open. What I'm asking the board is to, today at 1 o'clock, I'm bringing a job description for a Chief of Elementary Education which means that his position will go dormant, his allocation will flip from the chief of uh, secondary to the chief of elementary, 
and then we hire someone to lead the work from elementary. Mr. Connor will drive the CNI work and then lead secondaries as well. So my apologies for the, the, the short rush. Um, you know, I, it took this long to get every, all the individuals we wanted to interview to the table and I was out of town for, for a week and a half as well. So um, at the same time, uh, and the allocation shift will be on there as well. Uh, the only reason I, I ask for that is that we're just trying to move forward so we can get someone in these positions to, to lead the work. Can we take action? It hasn't been advertised for 48 hours. Yeah, no, it doesn't meet the requirement. So what were we uploaded the other day? That's why I'm asking, we uploaded the well, other day. When, when he called me, he asked could he edit on, and I said, well, you know, he said it's been 48 hours, uh, but it's, yeah. it wasn't posted. Right, 48 hours. So I said, we'll just bring it up Monday, and then if we can't do it on Monday afternoon, we'll have to put it on the next meeting. Oh, yeah, I just, when did Miss Bush, Bush, when did we upload it? Well, I can't, when it'll be we, advertised before we meet. The agenda, it, it did go on the agenda. This is the agenda for this okay. afternoon. So it, it will be advertised. It was posted on Thursday. Okay, so it is advertised. So, so I didn't see, because mm -hmm. he's trying, he explained he's trying to get his people in place, mm -hmm. and we're getting so close to school it starting. Hours. It was it was for and and, and I just put it, I told him to go ahead and put it on there so we could <coughs> advertise it. So and, 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 I, and I'm apologizing in advance. It, it would never be this rushed, and I know you like to have, and respectfully so, an allocation, a job description, and then the allocation right. the next month. Um, we, I just put it on there on Thursday just for you to have a, but if they, if you wanted to move forward with it, then we could. If not, then we would we would take it off for well, your recommendation. And my thoughts were, it, it could be advertised in time. He needs it to get his people in place over in curriculum and instruction. And it's, to, in my opinion, it's for the best interest of the district. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it so. just would have been nice to know about it Thursday. If it were, you know, I mean, if all the discussion you know, I don't. Well, I'm I I'll take because there's four of us that I, had no knowledge that this was coming. We could, I mean, I, I read this agenda over the weekend. I didn't go and through and read it. I thought it was all just budget. Mm -hmm. So, you know, and I actually thought it was a budget workshop, not even a special meeting. Special. So, That's why I mean, and I, you know, I, I don't have an issue with it. Again, mm -hmm. I, I don't have an issue with that. And I have something I don't want to say on the record, so I'm not going to say it. But the process feels like we are manipulating it to do what we want to do with it and I'm worried about our HR processes frankly you know when we have people say oh well we post this job and this job isn't isn't hasn't been posted for we get we post a job for 24 hours right. and then we get applications and I don't it just how long was this posted um, we haven't posted this job not approved but there's someone who's saying that they already have the job in the in the in the rumor mill I can't address it, rumors. In a different county. Right. And the <coughs> assistant superintendent position, how long was that? So, you're, so you've heard uh, it too? Uh, for a long many, time. Numerous so times. Long, uh, yeah. more, than, more than 10 days. Right. Long time. So up to each of you. I acted in, in what I thought when he called me. I was out in the yard up to my ears in mud and dirt. Um, well, it beats but it seemed, it, is like, it, it seemed that we could do it, but I said, tell the board about it Monday morning. I mean, we're, this was Thursday yes, afternoon, you call me, I said, and, and Friday, there's nobody here. I guess <coughs> everybody's still taking off on yes, Fridays, are they? Yes, and I said, my opinion is you need to explain this to the board Monday morning. And I thought, you know, that gives you ample time to ask questions or whatever. Um, so, right. and, and, no, no, I'm concerned about the appearance of impropriety right. and us getting sued, frankly, on our HR practices. It's not the yeah, people, so it's I, not I, the... I, so I, I say this, I mean, I can't help rumors. There's, you know, there's, there's, there's rumors that are out there for all kind of stuff. There's fake yeah. news, all kind yeah. of stuff we have to do it. And That's I would tell you from a, from a, from, from a, uh, from, from my side, from a professionalism, we haven't done anything that, to put ourselves in a situation in HR thus far under my leadership, nor will we do it moving forward. So, it, you know, did we interview individuals from all over the place the other day for, for CNI? We absolutely did. Am I going to hire the right, the right person, the best person? Absolutely will. Well, it, regardless of that person is in this county, outside this county, in Washington, in Texas, I'm going to hire the right person for these positions to move the work forward.
So now, have you what exactly is for? on the agenda for this afternoon? Yeah. I'll be honest with you, I haven't even looked at it. I thought mm -hmm. it, it, Which it, we've also got exactly what are you putting So right here, this agenda is your tentative budget. Also, it goes to the education facilities plan, which is part of the trim. It's advertisement for the tentative budget and millage, which is a part of that. Okay. Um, <laughs> The, then we added um, in time the, the job description mm -hmm. that we, I just spoke to, um, proposed allocations that, uh, that will include mental health uh, plan allocations. It will include some adjustments in schools so they can hire, and then also at a cost neutral position if approved for the chief of uh, elementary. And then looking at the mental health assistance <coughs> allocation plan, which is due to the state uh, really soon. soon. August 1st, so we're just trying to, we, we've been working on it to make sure we have a right plan in order to submit yeah. to you and be approved to be able to submit to the, to the state on time. And I think where there's some discomfort or uncomfortable feelings, uh, normally we would get the job description one month and the next month we would get the allocation. And this way it's, it's being squashed into one because we're sitting here almost to August with school starting. So. Yes, ma'am. Uh, let's, let's try not to let that happen. Yeah, yeah. that's, that's you why. You haven't interviewed for this chief of elementary No, ma'am, we have not. Now, so, do we interview other individuals from the interview the other day that could potentially lead the work? Absolutely. And, and when you interviewed them, did you make any reference to this position? No, ma'am, no. Okay, so I no guess we only have an issue so I, yeah. the person in the rumor mill gets the job. Yeah. Who's posting that she's getting it or he's getting yeah. it. Huh. That person. And I don't know. I don't know these people. I'm just right. saying. If I've heard it, then right. Keystone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> our news is Gainesville, frankly. I mean, sure. so, you know, why right. is it on my TV? My news is Gainesville. Yeah. So, but you know. I can get yes, a Jacksonville station. But. I, I would tell you that you know I'm gonna hire the <laughs> best person question. without a doubt. What? Oh, I have a question on what is our policy for advertising jobs? Because I know numerous times that jobs are advertised very short. Very short amount of days. I would think there's a policy. Uh, there is. Of, what is it? Uh, by contract in the teacher world. I know. By June fifteenth, it goes immediate hire, immediate fill, which means can be posted for three weeks or can be posted for one day. At that point. What about same, the administrators? Same. same thing. They can be posted for one day. It's. Yeah. I've never done. So coordinators can be hired on a one-day posting? We yeah. don't have a minimum. Well, I don't understand this. Usually, How long do administrators? We hire. Usually, usually, we post usually, for five. usually it's five days. Usually we post for five days. But you could do it in one day? Yeah, if, it's immediate, if it's immediate hire, immediate fill, Something then you could do that. Yeah, well, well, that's what we, happens. We haven't done that. I haven't done that. Well, when we do our HR policy, that's something we definitely need to address. Yeah. Yeah. To make yeah, sure that. Because it it's, it's only fair. Sure. You know, right. and it does, like Ms. Condon said, it gives the impression of favoritism. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. And Which we don't want that. Right. Well, I, I can tell you, we're going to hire the best person, so that's my job to recommend. So we're leaving it on. Everybody's mm -hmm. okay with that because it meant the 48 hours? Mm -hmm. all right. And all we're doing is, is approving the job description for chief of elementary education and the allocation yes ma'am that way i'll post it and the allocation but it has not been listed uh, uh, no ma'am and when North it is field. listed is that under the is that a five day five day five day advertisement mm -hmm. yes ma'am I thought yeah. that on the agenda when I looked at it, it said it was a deletion of the chief of secondary and an addition of the, it the is. chief yeah. of elementary. It should be a deletion yeah. of secondary because right. So it's becoming it is. What, what's a, a new job going to be? Chief of, chief of elementary. elementary. So switch but I thought he's going at chief no. of elementary. No, no. no. he's no. going to CNI. Into a secondary, and then his he's position a, chief of assistant. It is his old job. I got it. Be the assistant he's got it. He's got it. And got also it. handles secondary mm -hmm. curriculum. Mm -hmm. And then the new person will do elementary. I got it. So it's a wash money wise. Right. Correct? Yes, ma'am. So is this, so opening up the, um, since we haven't had an opportunity to ask questions, opening up the allocation summary on this afternoon's agenda, is this a $1.1 million ad? 
sure looks yes. like it. Mm -hmm. It is. If you look at the the bottom part of it, the bottom part of it is the positions that we talked about maybe in February or April of March or April that we added. We, we, we said we were going to cut positions, but we were going to put a bank of positions. And nowhere in the last couple of months we've been trying to find where those positions were approved. I know we verbally said that right. we were going to put a bank of teachers just the in case we're class size. So we couldn't find it in writing, so it's just it's bring back to make sure it's in writing so we have paper trail. I'd like to say something about this chief of elementary education and, and secondary, and no offense. Um, but I think the salary is way inflated. And if this is the salary of an assistant superintendent, which is what you'll be receiving. And it should be between a director and an assistant superintendent. I don't think a chief of elementary ed or individually chief of secondary ed should be making the same as an assistant superintendent. superintendent. It, so um, we're, we're, we're creating a new job description, so I think we should look at the salary on that new job description, and that should be more in maybe a $90,000 range. Not. So from, if, from if me, can, we... If, if I can, I'm sorry, I'm yeah, sorry yeah. talking sorry. on top of here, but it, remember, we've, we've set this, talk about notice uh, and publication, we've set this morning for agenda to uh, review. Okay, so I think we're kind of going outside of what it is that we set this meeting for. Okay. This is simply we're, we're discussing here uh, <coughs> preparations for the August 2 meeting. I think if we could kind of truncate discussion on matters that are before the board at one and, and sure. discuss it then, it would be most appropriate. So, so wait till this afternoon. Wait till this afternoon. Okay, we're going to wait till this afternoon to further discuss that. Yeah. We as the board need to change it. Now I'm at uh, board, school board comments. Ms. Bala? No, Ms. Condon? I have two questions. Okay. Um, and I, don't, I don't mean this first one to mean I have a problem with it happening. I wanted to know what the process is to bring someone on in a contract position because. Um, and I don't want to say the person's name because I don't have an issue, but in, in the purchasing world, we have somebody who's back on in a contract role, and I didn't remember us hearing about it. And so my, but in the past, I know we um, usually, Ms. Caracas brings up the, the, like we've had the IT person come back. We've had different people come back to fill a role oh, yeah. and, in a contract yeah. manner. And so I guess my question is, what is the what is the process that 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 goes on? I don't know if it's a business affairs question or yeah, it's it's, it's well, it, it depends. Um, for contracted services, there is a process of going through the contract review. Uh, the division that's responsible for the contractor that's coming on board, you know, um, typically will complete the agreement, the, the, the um, contract review form. It goes through the process of all the assistant superintendents who's responsible for approving those, the, area, the item, and then it goes to Mr. Daggeter for um, final approval. And then, of course, a purchase order. Once it's depending on if it comes to the board or if it just goes through purchasing, then a purchase order is created to cover because that those dollars, the dollars are already part of the original budgeted money that's been approved. Are you referencing a program or an individual? Uh, uh, an individual. An individual. Yeah. So I know an, an individual. How long has this individual been of being working with us? Well, it depends on the the. Um, the work. department and the scope they, of work, yeah. And it's it not could a, be a month, it could be two months, it could be three months, it could be a year. It could it's be, not every day of the week, as I understand it. It's just, no, it, it depends on the hours. It just on. depends on the services and the scope of work that's needed. Okay. Because I heard that this person... No, it was just, it was uh, surprising to get a phone call from the person that says, oh, okay. I wanted your input, I'm back working with the district for a temporary time. And I said, oh. Oh. That's different. I mean, it, and it was truly a, oh, okay. yeah. you it's know. It's temporary labor. labor. It's temporary yeah. labor versus contract. Okay, so it's what's the different. process for that? The temporary labor, it's up to um, the individual department who is requesting the person to, to work in the department for a short period of time. It is then brought to the superintendent for approval. Uh, discussion why, what, when, and how, and how, you know, and the money where it's coming from, and then based on the superintendent's recommendation, a form is filled out and submitted to the HR department, and they're placed at, on, 
as a temporary employee. Now, but, but that, that was the need because there was too much for them to do, or was there new things going yes, on at the time, that they needed help from yes, an experienced person? Right. I, I believe at the time we were going through many um, contracts. We needed uh, bids to be completed. Um, and if it's who I'm thinking, um, yeah. and if we, were, we have been short-staffed from day one. We're going through the conversion. It has been very you know, trying on all of us, trying to meet our deadlines. And then, of course, there was the, um, the um, bids that needed to get out. They were very, they were running behind. We would not have had those renewed. So therefore, um, the opportunity to for have this individual come back and help us at a very reduced rate would, um, would benefit the department. So therefore, it was my decision to bring it to Mr. Davis to ask for that help because I did not want anything to fall behind it. That person helped with maintenance, transportation, all of those bids that were coming up for renewal. Therefore, it was a short-term agreement with her. Okay. I just did, again, I didn't have a problem with. Right, no. I, it was, the, it's the process. Because, because again, so then my, my um, public official hat would say, do you have to advertise those kinds of, I mean, you know, that, yeah. that, those are just the questions that come up. Mm -hmm. It's taxpayer dollars. So, and then my other question is, um, we all got, I know we all got one, at least one email. I've gotten a lot of phone calls. <coughs> so when it raises to the point where we're getting phone calls, um, obviously there's something. But my question is specifically, um, obviously something wrong is going on with the Oak Leaf high school band, band. Mm -hmm. and then in addition bands in general and I guess because I got a, another phone call that I actually had forgotten about I wrote it down on a piece of paper that I should have stuck in a better location and um, <laughs> that Fleming Island High School to be in their band it also costs over $600 and that it's $600 to be in the Oakley High School band 900 for per percussion I was told by a mother yesterday and so my, my concern is that well, one is this allegation that we've gone into debt to buy new uniforms. Is that but, true? But yeah. two, how? Because this one mother said we did no fundraising last year. So, and at, I understand at which school? Oh, no, no, no. She said we did no fundraising last year, and I know this band director took over from another band director. Mm -hmm. But if that band director had said to the parents, "I came into this with debt," but again from an auditing perspective, how we yeah. can take on yes. debt. Right. Yes. And then, um, so well, at the end of the day, no one should ever buy anything <coughs> unless they have funding to do so at every one of our schools, yeah. and that's a leadership school leadership <coughs> issue that, it, that this one has become to us to really look at whether or not a what the cost is for each program, how are they funding it, what their strategies are to raise money. So you want to speak to the rest of it? Yeah, I was going to say. So the principal has allowed the the, the band using some of the general funds to purchase the uniforms. So the, the band is not in actual debt per se. So there's no there's no debt. So they use school yeah, the school funding. Right. But well, then where is there the term debt come from? That's up there. Is there then a the letter there so then a, that came out to the parents? So is there then a requirement from that leadership to that band director to say, okay, I'm going to let you buy the uniforms yeah, with this money, but yeah. you have to pay it back. You have to earn the money. Right. Yeah, that could, be an, a, that could be an agreement between the band director and the principal. Yeah. To, uh, it just sounds wrong. How much do they pay for these uniforms? Uniforms are extremely oh, expensive for the band. I mean, I, mean, I, I would say I'm that they're, I'm not sure exactly they're a dollar amount, yeah, they're they're really, really, thousands of dollars. So what we'll do, I'll get a breakdown. So this is what I'll do. I'll get a breakdown of every uh, the cost for every high school for band. And we'll look at what they actually charge the, uh, the every constituent to be a part of it and look at where the, the gaps may be. See, because I thought we were from a kind of a, pol not a written policy, I guess, but a, from a policy perspective, I thought we prided ourselves on being a county that you could participate in our activities right. mm -hmm. for free, right. where other counties you have to pay. Yeah. And I get it, so my kid plays golf, I, I buy his golf clubs, but they have sets of golf clubs if a kid wants to sure. play golf and doesn't yeah. have their own golf clubs or baseball equipment. So, you know, so I get that in some in most activities, parents are pay, providing most sure. of the stuff. But I asked this the parent who was so upset yesterday. So in addition, there, I mean, there's more. So 
tryouts for band were done during the exams week. What? Seniors are being moved down to ninth grade band because they didn't perform well because they were focused on their exams. Um, band director. All at Oakley. Yeah. Ooh. Band director refused to have a parent meeting over the weekend because parents are pulling their kids out of band because mm -hmm. they can't afford the six hundred dollars. Yeah. Okay. So now and so the upset mother sure. I talked to yesterday said it's it's like they feel like they don't have anyone to ask. Mm -hmm. So then they well, you can go on the website and get our phone numbers, and so right, right. that's how yeah, we make the phone calls. But I guess it's just a concern of, because I said, well, does this include the instrument? No, that cost doesn't include the instrument. Do they, does the school provide the yes. instrument? They can rent no, it. I mean, they can rent, but at the end of the day, the schools don't have funding to, to buy. That's, that's just right. what I mean. It's like when my daughter goes to play softball, no one buys her glove. So right. brings her glove. Unless she doesn't have one. The coaches usually have extras. Yeah, they have and now, the work. uniforms are provided by the school for the students. But they have to correct? pay for the rental. uniforms. Question. Who has to pay for the uniform? The school, school does. The band has and to pay for it. So for a third lot to pay for the uniforms, but they've got to pay this back. That's where the word debt comes mm -hmm. in. Right. And it sounds like it was a good bit of money for right. a large they high are. school band. Yeah. Um, and one of my concerns is we worked so Well, my concern was we worked so hard to have music in all of our elementary. Right. Yeah. And then we're going to charge you. To do music right. in our right. secondary. Right. So they I would say that I would say that historically there's a, probably always been a charge to mm -hmm. participate in band. I would say that always. So that, that but how that's how much? Yeah, this that's the ridiculous. that that's this the end ridiculous. of the day. I got to figure out how much it was. So this was news to me in the, the week last week. So okay. we're looking into it, and when we get the breakdown, I'll give it to everyone to see. I mean that is just that's that's absolutely that's absolutely the perspective from here. When they first started in the spring. The parents were told that the cost to be in band would be somewhere between two hundred and fifty and three hundred dollars. That's correct. That's correct. That's then they set up two meetings on Saturday. The first was going to be if you want to sign up your child for band, it's going to cost you six hundred dollars. No way. And then we're going to have another meeting to discuss all of these problems after the fact that you sign them up. So only the people who sign up are going to come in. Then the calls started going to the band directors as well as the principal, and and parents just weren't getting any any feedback and right. it was incredibly frustrating. frustrating and we yeah. do have seniors who are stepping in whose parents have said i'm sorry we've got to start building your college fund right. and six hundred dollars yeah. is just money. too well, much right now for you to spend your senior year in you yeah. 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 but city so down and the whole band would you also check into the cost of the junior high bands because these people they started in the Oakleaf Junior High Band, which is awesome. That's right. And they have moved them up to the Oakleaf High School Band. I don't know how much the junior highs are having to pay. The, you know. the, 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 I know that in, in elementary school, I borrowed money from the school to buy a snow cone machine for our Pioneer Helper program. And I, the, 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 I guess I paid it back. I mean, the, the snow cones paid it back. In fact, you donated $20 to that. I sure did. I donated. <laughs> um, You're not even want to say that. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and the time period that this has to be paid back, it's almost like they're, um, it's, like, it's like they're punishing the parents and the seniors who are in band for one year to have these new uniforms. New uniforms don't come every year. New uniforms are no, like five right. or six yeah. years. They'll once they're worn years. out, once they're afraid, once they're whatever, they have to get them clean. The ones my brother wore in the there night. you go. <laughs> and that's just it. And they should be paid for. Really it's, it's, really it's, really it's one of those <laughs> things where if they've, if they've set up a payment schedule <laughs> to pay that money yeah. back over the next five years, or the, the it's sort of like, you know, when you but buy a so car, long. you have five years to pay it off. It's not yeah. something that, boom. The thirteen thousand dollars when they say we're thirteen thousand dollars in debt and we can't help you, there was also there has been some fundraising at that school, mm -hmm, should be. and uh, you might want to check into the history of the fundraising as well yeah. regarding coffee. Right. Um, and I was under the understanding that that was going to go to pay for instruments as well. Mm -hmm. um, Mr. Coffee Blend. Yes. Did they and get up and running? Mm -hmm. they, yes, they, got, they, got they did get it up and running. They got outside money for that, but yeah. it's that was supposed to help pay for all of this. It as did well. it. The new leadership. Yeah. It's new leadership. So the new leadership comes. I don't they know. try to come in. It's only been and going for a year, but I don't know if any of that money went to help. Mr. Jay, but the other, there are red flags flying high yeah. on this one, mm -hmm. and I want to know what junior highs have to pay, seniors highs have to pay. 
Now, as I understand it, what you're saying is there was a band director at Oak Leaf High. He left, and a new band director I came in. He's still there. The old the band other, there's a new part of it. So there's a, there's right. a new but did the old band director we got two order there. the uniforms? I, I, we'll find all that out. They work right. together. We're, the biggest they're thing they're is the cost. To figure out what the cost they is. They both be band all. directors. There are enough students in two. that school that they require two band you got a lot. teachers. It's, it's amazing. It wasn't just Oakley. I know a dad oh, yes, who wrote phenomenal. a check for two kids at Floating Island <clears throat> because they had single moms who couldn't afford, and right. the band director said sure. sorry. And so a dad wrote a check yes, for his Ooh. kid and then two others. And how much so was that? Six hundred dollars. Yes. So eighteen hundred dollars. So I'll do an analysis for the last couple of years of what what it's cost and what it's going to. This is just ridiculous. Every well, child should the be able to get into the real band. Real every child was a one choice. choice. In the van should be able to get in the van. Well, and I think if there are large expenditures, that might be something that we want to consider as a board of, you know, is making choices. You know, do we want to buy this or do we want to pay for these or, you know. Yeah, sure. We didn't even know about it. It sounds like Me. they just decided Listen. at school, hey, we're going to Absolutely. And, and listen, I, I don't, money, but sometimes things do not come to the superintendent. Job. I didn't know it doubled. We so don't run until our an email like came that. forth from That's right. From, no. from, yeah. You can't afford it, you save up for it. Yeah. Yep. Have fundraisers. Well, thank you, Ms. Connie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the percussion was nine because I don't get that. Yeah. Yeah. They have a different uniform. I don't know. All you need is yeah. drumsticks. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, then you will have it. Okay, Ms. Okay. Just Ms. Rapiva, is there anything you want to say before I close up? I don't do it. No, I, I, you know, the only thing that I have concern with is that this has gotten way out of hand in the last few years because I don't think it's just music. I think there's other things. Oh, the music is the like big what? one. But sharing? my concern Dance is team? these coaches yeah. all of a sudden are assuming and they get thrown at them by administration that they have to raise all this money. So, you know, not only are they coaching, but they end up being these fundraisers and there's a, the liability of it. So I'm really curious, I'll just ask Mr. Broski to send me those names, because there's a liability in sitting there taking and expecting your coaches not only to coach, but raise this money. It's gotten way out of hand. It's a public school. Public school should be supplying this. You know, especially when I hear that the uniforms are from the 19th century, you know? <laughs> you know, there shouldn't be 20th. a debt. <laughs> 20th. 20th century. There shouldn't be a debt to that. And I think we have an obligation to to look at that because I hear this from coaches all the time. Yeah. You know, of why, why am I? It's not uh, my child. Why do I have to raise and have the responsibility of raising this funding? You know, and when I hear this amount of money, I, I didn't know because I've never been involved in the band here in the United States. So that raises an interesting question. Yeah. Do you, and, and I'm not poking you, I'm asking truly to understand, and I know you're busy, but do you or someone on your staff review um, these kind, like, like kind of the overall, um, are you thinking internal spending at the schools? And, but not just you internal want the cost spending, to participate? But, but what we're using it for. So mm -hmm. kind of a, I know that our auditors so, look at it, I know that the bookkeepers yeah, look at it, well, but kind of an overall review that says we're not choosing to put so much money toward one program that then the other programs are left to fundraise. Right. Like kind of a, from a consistency perspective. Definitely need to have a look at yes, it. Mr. Yeah. Mr. Wingate. Mm -hmm have done a study of all of that okay. uh, information related to that. Maybe you can send see that it? to the board and we could see it and yeah. I'd like we'd be it. aware of what. Yeah, that's, they, Brandon, I was a principal, so it was a couple years ago. Mm -hmm. but, yeah. but there was a look at right. each program right. and how much yeah. how much. That was back when we were going for pay for pay to play with sports. Remember when we went through the right. recession and the school districts were having to decide. Mm -hmm. So he did a study and that was mainly for athletics. Right. That does not include more of your the extracurricular extra like bands and chorus. Mm -hmm. Because of the competitions, the field trips, yeah, yeah. the travel, mm -hmm. the uniforms, those are extra expenses that you know schools are not, they don't fund those. So they have to well, come up with a Well, it's not just the band, that. it's the dance team, it's the yeah. play right. court, it's yeah. the, I don't know the term Major work, yeah. but the but there's there's subgroups that cost we definitely should look as well, it. and it's just sort of like you said an it's overall like view of the extracurricular. Yeah, and I understand determine. that athletics bring in a gate, and so they mm -hmm. they raise money, and I understand that at most of the schools, Mr. Autumn is not here, so football <laughs> funds the um, funds most of the programs, but 
just to be consistent. You know, we have so we have one of the largest FFAs in mm -hmm. the state and a nationally recognized FFA program statewide. I don't know what we pay. It, I don't know if it's equivalent. I know that I had heard that our band directors only get a supplement of like five hundred dollars, and yet they're doing the band camps. They're doing the football games like the coaches. You know, they're doing all the after school stuff just like the football coaches mm -hmm. are. Yeah. What so, is their supplement? Higher than that, yeah. I'm gonna I guess. Was it's it's lower than the coaches. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Football yeah. coaches. I think it's like twenty million dollars. Yeah. Football coaches. Anyway, it's just a thirteen point five percent. I think the thirteen point five percent. Okay. Is there? Uh, if there's there. no other discussion, anyone want to comment from the round of Then the meeting is adjourned.